Well, as you know, we have been exposing the poor state of vacant Detroit public schools now for weeks. For the summer months, there is a new concern now, overgrown grass. And you guessed it, we put our Ronnie Dahl on this assignment. She's been wading through the weeds and looking for answers. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, this grass is waist high. To make your way to the monkey bars, you have to play a game of Marco Polo. Marco! Marco! Look, the kids are almost lost. Marco! Hey, DPS, come mow the lawn! The playground at the former Hutchinson Elementary School on Detroit's east side is looking like a jungle. Weeds nearly waist high. You almost need a machete to heck your way to the monkey bars. The condition makes this place off limits to neighborhood kids. The kids can't even go to the park and play. We checked out a few other vacant Detroit public school buildings in the area. At Stevens Elementary, we did notice the lawn was mowed, but the bushes were overgrown. At the old Rose Elementary School, the place was wide open and the weeds several feet tall. Schools didn't used to look like this. Back in the day, Hutchinson was the pride and joy of this east side neighborhood. A beautiful building with unique craftsmanship. Now, it's an eyesore. I'd like to see it reopen and do something value with it, other than just sitting there going down to nothing. Do something useful with it, you know? It's just sitting there, it looks a mess. Pastor Rideout would like to do something with it. His church, All God's People, sits directly across the street. He's put in an offer with DPS to buy the place with plans to turn it into a community center. But the deal stalled and the school sets and the grass grows. That's a danger. It's just, it's ugly. It doesn't make the community look well. Concerned for the neighborhood kids, the pastor attempts to tackle the high grass and prickly weeds. He wants the higher ups at DPS to know if you're not going to maintain the property, then give it up. If they're not going to uh, sell the property to us, then donate it. Donate it. Let someone do something with the property. Now, a spokesperson for DPS did release a statement to me. It really didn't say much. If you want to read it, it's on our website, WXYZ.com. The statement, though, did not address the grass. DPS, if you're not going to mow it, we'll find someone that can handle this big of a job because Mercedes, Crystal, you guys want the grass mowed, right? Yes. See, do it for the kids. We're live on the east side tonight. Back to you.